can't accept this. Easy does it. It's happening again. Tom, I know it's hard. I know it is. Even when you know the odds, it's hard. She was so cheerful. She was active. She was happy. Maybe the blood test was wrong. Maybe when they get the results of the bone marrow test. Tom. They're going to find out they made a mistake, Brooke, and they're putting us through hell for nothing. Don't. All right? Don't do this. Barbara is going to be here any minute. You have to be strong. You have to deal with this. Oh, yeah. I know. I just thought she was healthy. I, I know the odds, but I thought she had beaten them. I thought she was... I thought she was better. I'm... I'm sorry. Chemo. I know, but if you have to fight it again, then you will fight it. Yeah, but there is a breaking point, you know? Yeah, but you haven't reached it. All right, you have not reached it. You haven't even come close. You are the most unbreakable person I know. And when bad things happen, it has made you even stronger. And it's going to be okay. All right, Chuck and Angie are going to deal with Molly. And you and Barbara are going to take care of each other. All right? And that's the way you do it. And things are going to turn around. When you say it, I almost believe it. It's true, Tom. And when Barbara gets here, you're going to make her believe it, too. Oh. You're one in a million. You should know that. I know. I know. I'm just terrific. Do you want me to stay until Barbara gets here? No, I... no, no. You take off. You've had enough bad news for one day. I... I'm sorry about you and Ted. Listen, Molly's problem puts everything in perspective. You'll call me when you get the test results? I'll call you. Okay, Annie. Hi, uh... Hi, we're back home. Is she still a truck? <sighs> Listen, Barbara, if there's anything that I can do, you just tell me, all right? Thank you. Thank you. This is the end, isn't it? Is that a remission? Barbara, Barbara, no words Barbara, here coming Barbara, true, no, Tom. No, 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 no. Nothing is definite until the results are analyzed. Cheryl, I talked to your secretary. She said you were out, but I knew better. I knew this is where I'd find you. Are you going to tell me what you want, or do I have to guess? Been crying? <laughs> Ted and Dixie reconciled. <laughs> what, are you here to console me? Well, would that be a crime? Under the circumstances, yeah. I care about you, Brooke. I tried to warn you about him, but Goodbye. I never... Goodbye. All right, all right. Uh, no, no, no. Goodbye. I'm sorry, that's... Uh, wrong thing to say. What I mean is, I truly do care about you. And, quite simply, I'm here with a strong shoulder. For me to cry on? Now, even a successful, self-sufficient feminist can feel vulnerable sometimes. In the first place, I don't make any bones about being vulnerable. In the second place, I don't need a shoulder to cry on. And if I did, yours would be the last one that I would choose. And in the third place, that is not why you're here. You are here to gloat, to extract your pound of flesh because I wrote that fake but honest article about you. No, you completely misread my motive. No, I read you like a book, Adam. Get out. No. I want to help. 
Brooke. I don't need your help. I don't want your help. There's no Ow. reason we can't be friends. Friends? Yes. Friends? The past is done. Get out! Would you just give me a chance? You know, you are demented. You're sick. I've been there. I know what it feels like to be don't. rejected. Don't. Tad dare. is a fool. He didn't, he's not worthy of me. You're better off. I am going to tell you one last time. You need somebody who cares. Adam, who I understands. would rather consort with the devil than have anything to do with you, all right? You don't mean that. Get out, all right? Get out, or I'm going to call the cops and I'm no. going to have you thrown out. You rang? Are we having a little uh, trouble here, folks? Who told you to butt in? He is not butting he's, in. He's not in. wanted either. Oh, look who's talking. Brooke, I am here as a friend. Friend? It sounds as if the woman wants you out of here. Finally, somebody who understands me. So why don't you leave? Why don't you just stay the hell out of it? Ma'am, if you'd rather, I could uh, arrest the old gent here for trespassing. No, the hell you will. <laughs> That's a great idea. Why don't you book him? Uh, you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. All right, all right. Do you understand? All right, all right. All right, all right. Do you understand? Or all right, all right, you're going to get out of Dodge. I'll go. Demented, fat-headed. Do not abuse an officer of the law. You will leave quietly and you will not create a disturbance upon the premises. I meant everything I said. I am your friend. Please. I've given you three pops. You think about that when you've cooled One, down a bit. Two. And don't listen to anything this colonel has to say because you're going to regret it. Three. I'm calling him. Mark, swat mark my words. He's got his own axe to grind here. Self-serving, egotistical brat. I mean, you know, he has the nerve to come here and offer me his friendship like it's worth something. I mean, how could he think that I would cry on his shoulder? How could he think that? You got me. You know, of, of all the patronizing, condescending jerks, he's, he's the biggest. He really is the biggest. I mean, you know, he offers me his, his sympathy. I don't... I don't Need his damn sympathy. I don't need anybody's sympathy. You tell him, sweetheart. You're no softy. No woven flower in the vine. Not you. You got a spine of steel. Tough as granite. Tougher than a marine. And I'm not a crybaby. I'm just angry. I'm just so... I'm just so damn mad. I... Uh, let it rip. Jacket's strict dry. For the loan of your shoulder. No problem. Didn't even shrink. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he makes me uh, so angry. Adam has a way of endearing himself like a telephone pole in your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I let him get to me. I really don't. Well, it's like a love-hate relationship to me. Are you kidding? Just taking a shot in the dark. Yeah, well, you missed by a mile. Ma'am. Listen, if it were up to me, I would never see Adam again. In fact, I would prefer it that way. I just call him the way I see him. From where I was standing, it looks like the guy's still in love with you. The subject is closed. I mean, why else would he come tooting over here right when he finds... Trevor! Out Face it, Brooke. Face it. Every time the guy gets near you, he gets warm and woozy. Woozy? Yeah. Just, just shut up, okay, please? All right. I think I've seen enough guys on the make in my life. I mean, I don't know. Sidling up to you in the friendship mode. I bet my nickel he'd be doing little drop-ins real soon. Are you serious? Are you serious? Because he's not over you. It's ridiculous. Well, we'll see. I'll see and you'll see. You ruined them for other women. Look, Adam and Natalie may have a marriage of convenience, but they seem to do, be doing perfectly fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. And if I'm right, which I am? Hmm? Nothing. And you're wrong. No, well, we'll see. I'll see and you'll see. We'll all see. I don't want to Adam. I don't want to waste my breath, all right? He's in the past. He's history. I want him to stay there. Now, what about you? I'd rather talk about you. How is it that you happen to show up? just in time to rescue me from the unmentionable. The truth? I, uh, stopped by to ask you out to dinner. 
It's very sweet. Poncho's hot spot? Well, do you? Uh, I'd like to take a rain shot. Oh, she's turning me down. No. It's just, it's been a very long, very rough day, really. <laughs> and I'm beat. I can't win. I'm soggy and dateless. <laughs> <laughs> Another time? Rats, I hate it when I don't get my way. Thank you. All right, I do appreciate the offer. I'll I pick do. you up on that rain check, yeah. if you really mean it. Yeah, of course I do. Can I ask you what this sudden interest is? I mean, breakfast this morning and dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. I mean, other than my uh, charm and beauty. Oh, well, we got a lot in common. Our charm and beauty? You got it. That and Tad and Dixie being back together, you wanted to... You were married to Adam. I wanted to marry Natalie. Now they're married. I figure I look around and I see you and me. We are <laughs> a match made in heaven. <laughs> really? It's in the stars. The way the dice roll, the cookie crumbles. It's destiny. No, you know what it is? We are the odd men out. I odd. <laughs> you, now listen, you may not admit this, but I would bet money that there is something else going on in that devious little mind of yours. <laughs> <laughs>